Hey guys, welcome back to Marketing Fundas Global. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to generate product feed for your Google Merchant Center and how you can upload that product feed into your Merchant Center. So this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial. You have, you just have to follow this tutorial in order to properly upload your product feed into your Merchant Center. So let's get into the video without any further ado. So guys, as you can see, our website is based on WordPress. So uh, we are going to use a plugin in order to generate a feed, right? So for that, we have to go to plugin section. In this plugin section, you just have to go to add new. And it add new, search here, CTX feed. And this is the first option you'll get. When you search CTX feed, this one, just install it and activate it. As you can see here, it has more than 70,000 active installations right now, which means this is a very useful and very trusted plugin, right? Now, this is the CTX plugin showing me right now. Now go to manage feeds. Now let's generate a new feed from here. Click generate new feed. Now you have to enter some details. The first one is your country. So I'm in India right now. So I'll be selecting India. Then template. Template will be Google Shopping. We have many other templates as well as you can see here. So you can use for any other tasks as well. But for now, this is the top end one, Google Shopping. Then you have to give it a file name. So this is Merchant Center. product feed this is the name I have given now you have to select a file type so the file type will I'll, I'll be selecting CSV right now you will be able to see it has auto fest all the details from our website these are the product details as you can see here right now the one thing you have to do it manually is you have to enter Google product category manually because this uh, CTX feed tool doesn't do this. You have to do it manually, right? So you just have to select a category here. We You have tons of options over here. So you have to select a category according to your product and business, right? So our product is basically food product. So I'll be add, writing food here and let's see what I found here. Food, beverage, food, food. Uh, if I write organic product, I don't think I do have any organic option. No, uh, organic option is not available. So yeah, we can add food. Basically, you have to add the relevant category, right? I'm adding food here. So guys, I'm selecting this one. This is called food, beverage and tobacco and the subcategory is food item and under that we have fruits and vegetables. So I'll be selecting this one. Now our product category is done now. Now just you have to click on update and generate feed. So let's click on it and now you'll, you'll be able to see that feed configuration created successfully. Now you'll be able to see one feed over here, right? Now the feed has been created. We just have to download this feed by clicking on this red button which says download feed. So just click on this and the feed will be downloaded, right? Now let's go to our merchant center and add this feed into our merchant center, right? Uh, obviously we have to upload this feed into our merchant center. So I've already logged in into my merchant center. If you don't know how to log in, please refer to our previous video where I have shown you how to create the merchant center account account and how to log in into your merchant center right now you can do one more thing as well uh, you can directly upload this feed while logging into or while creating in uh, your merchant center account right so you can refer to our previous video where i was logging or i was creating my merchant center account so you can upload that particular feed there as well in the previous video i've just listed one product as you can see here uh, you'll be able to see only one product this one is showing right so this is done in the previous video now i'm creating multiple 
basically i'm adding multiple products using product feed right so for that you have to go to products and here you will be able to see this feed option click on this now in the primary feeds click on the plus button now you have to add the target country so in my case it is india i'll be selecting india hit the save button then you have to select the language it is english in my case now it is showing that free listing okay done now you have to name this feed right so i'll be adding a uh, product feed one right now obviously we want to upload our csv file so we have to click on this upload option right we don't have any google sheet right now uh, we have to upload it now hit the continue button and here we have to add the name of our feed so let me add merchant center product feed this is the name right now click on this drop down button and click on browse so that we can upload the file this is the feed just hit ok and the product feed has been uploaded and now you just have to click on create feed and it will be creating the feed now you can uh, use this feed as a test as well you just have to click on this checkbox upload as test so that you can test this feed as well so that's how you can generate your product feed and upload this into your google merchant center so i hope you learned from this video if you do so please hit that subscribe and like button also if you still have any question or query please comment down below i'll answer those questions in the comment section itself i'll meet you in the next video till then bye bye